Hi folks, uh, um, it's uh, Labor Day 2013 this year, really overcast sky here, and uh, just showing you a picture I mess around with my lawnmower and the big peace sign in the field next door to me, but anyways, uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a video, this is one of my first ones, and uh, it's uh, the end of the season for uh, the garden, uh, just got done. I uh, had it tilled out. Um, all that's left now are some sunflowers and some tomatoes. Everything else pretty much gone. Didn't have much luck this year with the pumpkins. I only got one, but uh, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, yeah, she's getting all ready for the, uh, hopefully, get lots of uh, fertilizer in the ground this year. Anyways, I'm making my video here because I wanted to show you I'm always trying to do a upgrade or something, especially with, you know, working in the garden and stuff, and, uh, well, I want to show you my folly. Usually I, uh, I do pretty good on Craigslist. I, uh, I got this mower, uh, 75 bucks. Guy just couldn't figure out why she wouldn't shift because she was totally clogged up with, uh, stuff. Guys never clean it. Some people just don't take care of their machinery. So anyways, this is uh, my folly. I um, wanted to, you know, read up on the Troy Built Tillers. Yeah, they're good and they can really, um, you know, chew up the ground and everything. So I got it from an old guy. Yeah, he wanted 200 bucks. I was like, oh man, I can't pay 200 for it. This is uh, as a favor, you know, I kind of felt bad for him, so I gave him 100 bucks. And uh, thinking, well, it wouldn't take too much work. Yeah, rust, we can always work around. And then, uh, you know, it was complete. But uh, the reason why she wasn't working too well is uh, that. Um, yeah, the uh, housing there got stuck because uh, I never put any oil on the pins and tried, you know, fixing it with a uh, uh, hammer. And, uh, you know... You know, it's not going to work always, but, uh, yeah, I got the motor and everything. That she was filled with a mouse uh, nest, and uh, he thought it was seized. It wasn't seized, just had a lot of mouse nets clogging it up. So, anyways, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to try and fix up so we can use in the garden next year. Um, it's 1970, 73 or 74. Pretty rusted up, but uh, I... Uh, took her apart and I got the motor in the basement. You know, if worse comes to us, uh, we go to Harbor Freight, get one of those $119 uh, six horsepower Predator motors. But I got all the pulleys and everything. Um, yeah, she needs some tires though too, I mean, because when she was sitting there, you know, at first I saw, I said, well, a flat tire, but when I got her home, and look at that, uh, jeepers, you know. <laughs> Ah, I've never seen anything rot like that, but, so that is my, uh, my folly, and, uh, I probably should have only offered him 50 bucks for it, but I figured I'd, uh, eh, you know, give the guy a hundred, what can I do? I already got the, uh, new housing part here, and, uh, you know, sometimes you find good deals on eBay, and, uh, I got this, um, really good deal, uh, delivered for under $31 and it's got the pins and everything with it so we'll be putting that back on and uh, yeah I, uh, I've watched some uh, interesting things on removing rust and I already started with the shifter I put it in an electrolysis tank and you can see the uh, a lot of the rust came off it I'll just kind of wire wheel it down throw some paint on it and and go from there um, you know I always do things the hard way, um, and like I said, I mean, I get good deals sometimes, you know, like this for 75 bucks, but uh, I want to show you the other project that I got, what I've been doing the garden with, and you know what, it's hard work, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to run over there and get that, hold on please.